Borderland 2, we're doing Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon's Keep, Double A Gamer for Life, Demented Priest, and Grim. Okay, been out to this uh, Magic Slaughter badass round, uh, I don't know, four or five times. And uh, beaten it a few times, and the reason why we've been out here so many times is trying to get the challenge, work, 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 and killing the King of Orcs, and... Uh, just didn't really know it. So when we beat the level, uh, you know, with the mayhem that's going on out here, we just never really noticed the names. I mean, all you notice is that you got these enemies coming at you, and this one particular orc, you know, is a big guy with a club coming at you, and, you know, never really took the time to look at his name. But anyway, uh, this is the level that we actually beat the King of Orcs in, and... Uh, Previous to this, we were out here and we beat this level. We had some level 61 guys with us, uh, made our lives a lot easier. But I wanted to beat this level with just some uh, equal level guys. I got me and my buddy Demented Priest. We're commandos, and uh, my buddy is a siren, Grim. And having her, him, her in here has been a huge help. He's got the ability to revive us from second wind. And uh, makes our life a lot easier. Um, previous to this, we tried to like camp up in the corner. Um, even the level 61 guys I've had in here, uh, Ultraviolet and his buddies, uh, Cardude and Wesker, um, they're all level 61 guys. And they will also attest that this slaughter dome is uh, probably one of the hardest uh, things in here, exception to beating the ridiculous boss battles that they have. Um, dealing with the enemies in here isn't like super hard it's uh, dealing with all the traps as well so giving all the traps that they have here and then the pits that open up with the spikes that'll kill you instantly uh, it's a it's a pretty uh, it's a pretty tough challenge for sure so like I said we got two commandos out here uh, we both have double turrets, and we got the, my buddy Grim, who's a siren, and uh, he's got his abilities all decked out, but he's got the ability to revive us, you know, from second wind. And what will happen is, uh, I don't know, level one to two or something, Grim's going to go down, and we're not going to be able to revive him. Although uh, me and my buddy Demet the Priest, I was like, you want to just jump off the side, get him back in here? He's like, let's, uh, let's just keep rolling with it. So uh, my buddy Grim is up in the observation area. Now the, the thing is with this observation area, he can help from up there. And uh, he can hit the enemies with the little spear thing and then revive us and he can also shoot. And the few times I've been up in the observation area, I can shoot through there too. It's just a little hard uh, shooting through the bars or whatever. Now, when I was up in here with the level 61 guys, uh, you know, all I had to really do was find a corner to sit in, and they could run around. Um, my one friend, uh, Ultraviolet, he had uh, this crazy supernova shield on that would just pretty much kill anything with the Nova Blast. But anyway, uh, we found that uh, camping does not uh, work well, so basically going to keep moving as much as possible and like I mentioned this level will work the hell out of you I mean between uh, the enemies that are quite tough and then the floor popping traps everywhere it's a uh, it's a pretty good fight even though that you may be a few levels higher than these enemies these super badasses and they just take a lot of damage, and uh, we finally got some decent orange weapons and, and all that, but it's still a pretty, uh, pretty tight battle up in here. Okay, my buddy Grim gave me this uh, SMG. It's an orange weapon. And uh, it does like this crazy slag damage. So I try to stick with it. So I try to slag the enemies and let my buddies deal with that so we're doing extra damage. But uh, 
again, uh, this battle is all about watching where you're walking too. Uh, all the slots and thing will spew something, electricity, acid, fire, whatever. Although in this level it seems mostly to be electric that keeps popping up. Probably not the greatest time to be swapping weapons. Uh, somewhere along the way doing this, uh, these battles, I got the shotgun. It's a purple one. It does a lot of acid damage. And uh, shoots pretty good at distance, too. And we also got the grenades called the magic missiles, uh, times four. And uh, those are pretty nice. They regenerate uh, ammo. And they're pretty powerful, too, so... This battle is not the greatest time to be in the middle of messing with your weapons, Don't that's for you sure. Tell anyone. You're very kind. Deploying sentry! Okay, having a super badass uh, club in you while you're trying to get out of second wind is not the greatest thing. Okay, turrets are up. It really is a crazy battle up in here. I'm like, I would imagine they could have just left it a big open area, but uh, adding all the traps in there definitely, uh, definitely will work you. And obviously, if you get hit with some electricity or something, you're okay, but the pits of, uh, that'll kill you instantly if you fall in them, so that's never a good thing, like right there. So it's like, you're getting attacked, you just want to run off, it's just not that easy, you gotta pay attention what you're doing. If you fall into that pit, you're up in the observation area. Trying to get around to my buddy Grim here, I can see his health was going down, and uh, I don't know what happened, I got clubbed or pushed back or whatever, and I was like, damn it. Wanted to keep him in the fight, although he was more uh, helpful to us just being up top. But uh, it is what it is, I mean, what can you do? I was definitely trying to get him, but... Who's next, huh? But he's up there, he's keeping us up. I mean, his help was uh, totally instrumental in getting through this level, so I have to give props to Demet the Priest and the Grim to uh, getting through this level. As you can see, I'm just not running around. I'm keeping my eyes on the ground. So uh, camping is isn't gonna really help you here. Uh, you gotta keep moving. And uh, the big orcs with the clubs, I mean, 
anything could blast you off the side. It's just the uh, nature of the beast. So, you know, you just got to deal with it. So previous, like when we beat this, we had the level 61s in there. Uh, basically, uh, you know, he was a friend of ours. He wanted to come in and help us out, you know. And uh, so I wasn't really going to make a video that anybody could bring in higher level friends in to beat a level. So, but uh, we still haven't got the challenge for beating the King of Orcs. So I wanted to do this level with uh, some equal level guys up in here to see that uh, the level can be beat. Uh, so it definitely helps having a siren up in here. Uh, previous to this, uh, I only had the one turret with the nuke blast on it, uh, but then I changed my stuff around so I could have the double turrets. Kind of sucks. Uh, I was definitely a big fan of the nuke blast. But uh, these archers in this level, there's no joke, man. These guys hit you from pretty much anywhere in the level. But the nice thing, uh, the magic missiles. Like I said, they regenerate, so as long as you're not throwing them run, <coughs> one right after the other, there's always a supply of uh, grenades in there, and they're pretty powerful too, and they're <coughs> a throw and forget grenade. You don't have to worry about them. They'll seek out the enemies, so that's nice. All right, so we're going to get through level two, and right at the end of level two, we're going to break the video here and come back oh. with uh, the rest of the Myrtle and Temple badass wave. Turret, what would I do with that? Electricity from the earth! May the path perfect us! You must kill the magic crystal! <laughs> Yeah, this uh, shotgun when your B shield's up, uh, it's pretty nice. It shoots at distance, and uh, about the first shotgun we ever found that uh, shoots at distance fairly uh, accurate and hey, has a, some decent damage to it. Unfortunately, uh, we're playing on the ultimate level now, and uh, we're up at level 55, and these level 50 weapons just ain't getting it done. So we're kind of hating life right at the moment until we get some good uh, weapons. See my buddy Grim up top so there easy. doing his job. I love it when he grabs an enemy and puts him up in that little spear thing. That's awesome. But that's the thing about the game, you know. Uh, all the characters have got these, uh, you know, awesome abilities and this and that. You know, Commando's got the turrets and that kind of thing. And uh, if I was going to be another character, it would have most likely been a siren because I love that little thing she can do.
So I threw my turrets down and get a little distance. Gonna go uh, get some ammo here. If you like the videos, you can always support us by checking out the ads.